This is a quick walkthrough for new students and people who haven't logged into their account for Blue Ridge Community College and perhaps need to log into Moodle. To get to Moodle and the other features, one goes to the home page for Blue Ridge Community College and then goes up to this little tab that says students. If you click that, you'll get what's called the student panel, a little pop out there that shows you these several items and I'll walk through those one at a time. If one clicks the first text link, it will take them to an area called My Blue Ridge. This is where you have school records, grades, transcripts, schedules, payments, course offerings, grades, class availability, assigned advisors, where you can register for or drop add classes, and also check financial aid. Below that is the tab for My Courses, which will take you to our Learning Management System, or LMS. Right now, that's Moodle, and students will be able to get into their courses, and faculty will be able to do the same. This webmail account link is a simple way to open the student's official Blue Ridge Community College Gmail account, which will be used for all official correspondence. So it's important that you not only open that, but that you use it and check it consistently while you're enrolled. At the very bottom is a link that'll take you to support services, which will give you a series of links and connections to any kind of support you might need both online and at the campus. But let's go back up one more to WebAdvisor. WebAdvisor is where one sets up their account initially, and we'll cover that in some detail right now. So to set up your account, simply click the WebAdvisor tab and that will open up this frame. By selecting either of these two links, you'll be taken to the directions page to begin signing up. And that will take you to this next frame. And it's important to take these next steps correctly. On this frame, enter your last name and then put in your social security number without using dashes or spaces. And for students who are unable to provide their social security number during registration, they will have to enter their last name and full seven digit student ID number. Click Submit. This frame says select an email address and that's all you're doing. You're going to the drop down here. You will select the email address you provided previously, your personal email address where we may send you a temporary password that you will use to log in initially to your Blue Ridge email address and then immediately change that to a password of your choosing. Click Submit. After completing the previous step, you will receive an email in your personal email box that tells you the password to be able to log in to WebAdvisor. After logging into WebAdvisor with your temporary password, immediately go to where it says Change Password, click that, and enter the new password. After completing these steps, you may want to go ahead and log into My Courses. Bear in mind, there is often a delay of several minutes to half an hour for WebAdvisor and that data to populate these settings in the other applications. It will likely become your common practice to go to the Blue Ridge website. You'll then immediately click the Students tab and you'll go down to the My Courses link and tap that. You'll go into the upper right hand corner, you'll tap Login, and you will log in with the login information you just developed, noting that your username is all of the information, your name and the other letters assigned prior to the at sign in your email address. You'll put in your newly established password and you'll be in. And that will take you to the My Courses page on which we have a separate tutorial.